Frustration tonight from music teachers and their students in Pueblo School District 60. They were recently given the green light to hold in person music concerts. But just a week later, they were told not so fast. KRDO News Channel 13's Dan Beatty visited Pueblo's Centennial High School today to bring us their story. For many choir and band students here at Pueblo Centennial High School, their last performance inside the school was in 2019. And while they sit on the sidelines, sporting events with fans are going on. Performing is what I live for. But throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, fine arts students are finding it difficult to display their talents without an in-person live performance. I really just want to show what I've worked on and I want to be proud of it and we can't show that off. But on February 9th, fine arts students had new hope. An email sent out to music teachers across the district allowing in-person performances for the spring semester, so long as they followed COVID-19 safety guidelines. We're so excited. We were all like just jumping up and down. We were just so excited because I mean, We've been waiting for this for so long. But a little more than a week later, D60 pulled a 180, telling teachers to disregard the previous email. At a school board meeting on Tuesday, Superintendent Charlotte Macaluso said the original email was sent out by a staff member who did not get the necessary approvals. Um, then that communication was retracted because that was not um, considered or approved. Uh, we hadn't sought partnership with the health department or any anything like that. But I think these kids have shown time and time again that they are capable of being careful and they are capable of being safe. Carrie Chase hasn't seen her two kids perform together in more than a year. And if athletics can hold indoor events, so should the arts. COVID is just shining a light on the inequity of what's been happening in our school district. I understand that sports are sanctioned by CHASA. So if the gym is allowing 50% capacity, then you know the auditorium should be able to handle 50% capacity as well. In a statement to KRDO News Channel 13, the school board says they value all of the programs and know how important they are to students. They'll continue to work with teachers to get through this issue and hold virtual concerts online. Reporting in Pueblo, Dan Beatty, KRDO News Channel 13.